welcome back to my channel it's k the pa um first i want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing i'm almost at like 200 followers and it's just been really cool um just getting your comments and seeing you guys subscribe to my channel um so thank you so much for that and someone actually commented recently on one of my videos and they asked the difference between a paramedic and an EMT so I'm gonna be talking about that topic in today's video alright so guys keep watching and if you have any other questions just make sure you leave it in the comments and I'll you know I may do a video on it so the first thing that I want to mention is that um, there's a different level of care between a paramedic and an EMT so an EMT is at the basic level of care and a paramedic is at an advanced level of care. So um, usually they call EMTs BLS, which is basic life support, and paramedics are called ALS, which is advanced life support. So basically um, the paramedics get the more serious patients. So if um, a patient is unconscious, or if they have a gunshot wound or something serious of that nature, um, the paramedics will get that call. And the EMTs will get the most like basic calls. And it's not to say that EMTs never get serious calls um, because you have to really be prepared for everything. You know, we all get basically the same training. Um, there are some differences that I will discuss, but at the end of the day, like we all are equipped to deal with, you know, a patient that is unconscious or someone that is like, you know, a patient that's given birth or, you know, something serious. We are, we're all equipped to deal with those patients, but um, the paramedics have more resources. So usually they're the first um, on the scene, like if, you know, there's a serious call, they're the first on the scene and they will determine whether to send in the EMTs or not, the BLS unit. There are two major differences between um, paramedics and EMTs and that's the fact that paramedics can start an IV and also that they can administer way more medications than an EMT can. The main medications that an EMT can administer are oxygen, um, activated charcoal in cases where there's an overdose or some kind of poisoning. Um, aspirin and nitroglycerin for um, chest pain, or glucose, and you use that with diabetic patients, um, Tylenol and albuterol, which is used for asthma. So those are like the main uh, medications that we deal with as, as an EMT. But on the other hand, um, paramedics are going to be dealing with needles. Like as an EMT, you do not deal with any kind of needles. Um, so they're going to be um, really like um, administering like more advanced meds like, you know, morphine or um, Narcan. And that's used for if someone overdoses on some kind of opiates um, like heroin or something like that. Um, and they have like they have just so many more drugs that as an EMT, you don't even learn about. Um, so that's like the, I would say that's like the major differences, the IV and the medications that they can give. Another um, major difference between a paramedic and an EMT is the length of the schooling. So it takes about three to four months to become an EMT. So that's one semester. Um, and usually, like, it depends on if you go during the spring, summer, or fall. So, of course, the summer semester is about three months, um, just like going to summer school. And the spring and fall are about four months. Um, and with paramedic school, it takes about a year to become a paramedic for most programs. I mean, some programs will probably go a little over a year, but typically it's not usually any um, more than that. And as you may guess, of course, there's going to be a difference in pay between a paramedic and an EMT. Of course, the, the EMT is going to get paid less. Um, and if you didn't watch my video on how much EMTs get paid, you can um, check that out. I'll leave the link below. But typically, um, where I live, EMTs get about 1025. And I believe they start you 
at about $17 as a paramedic. Um, I think about $17, $18 as a paramedic. Um, so, of course, you know, the paramedic is going to get paid more um, because, of course, you know, it's, it's more advanced and um, you did go to school for a longer period of time. Um, so, you know, the, the pay is like different, but not drastically different. Also, as an EMT, you don't really learn about any kind of EKG rhythms or how to do an EKG. Um, I think in school, actually, no, I'm lying. <laughs> I think in, in EMT school, they do um, show you how to do it, but that's not really your focus because you will not be working on that in the field. Um, as a paramedic, you will be learning how to do it. Um, you'll be learning all the different rhythms and you will be, be performing EKGs in the field. As an EMT, you don't do that. So I didn't really learn much about um, cardiac rhythms as an EMT, um, but everyone learns the major ones, which is um, bradycardia, tachycardia, um, VTAC, VFib, asystole. So you learn all the major ones, but we didn't really um, deal with that. So we didn't go into detail um, as an EMT with um, cardiac rhythms. I mean, those are like the major differences between paramedics and EMTs. Um, but we do basically learn all the same things, you know, all the same skills, techniques, everything, because you know, even though you're at the basic level as an EMT, you can't really depend on um, ALS to do everything. You can't depend on them because at the end of the day, like you may go to a scene where everything starts off perfectly fine and then that patient becomes unconscious and then you have to know how to deal with that situation. So we all really learn how to do like the same skills. We learn how um, to do splinting, um, you know, give birth, um, well, not, not give birth, but <laughs> deliver babies. Um, we all learn how to deliver babies, um, uh, do CPR, and all those other skills that you would um, need to be able to do in the field, we all learn how to do them. So um, that's why I said being a, an EMT is like the foundation where you learn how to do all those skills and going back to paramedic school is basically you learn about like meds and how to like do IVs and stuff like that. So um, those are the major differences, but at the end of the day, we're all learning the same things, um, the, the same basic concepts, I should say. Um, and like everything in EMS is surrounded by um, the premise of the ABCs the airway, breathing, and circulation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that answered your question about the difference between an EMT and a paramedic. Um, I'll put some links below if you want to learn more about um, this field. And I'll also put a link to a few of my other videos that I've done on my experience as an EMT. And hopefully that will give you a little more insight on the field. Um, and but if you guys have any more questions like I said you know definitely make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll try and either make a video and I'll definitely like um, comment back and get back to you so thank you guys for subscribing and um, following me and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe because I'm constantly like putting out new videos um, so I will see you guys later and thank you